Hey guys, it's Jess with Virago Fitness and today I'm gonna completely change the way you view your ab training and tell you exactly what you need to do in order to get rid of the dreaded mummy tummy. So how many of you have lost the baby weight but still have a bit of a tummy pooch? How many of you pee your pants a little bit when you run or sneeze? How many of you have a pelvic organ prolapse or a persistent separation of your abdominals, a diastasis recti? How many of you want to just be able to sit down in a pair of jeans without your belly spilling over the top of them? Or maybe you're going on vacation and you want to wear a bikini without thinking about always having to suck your belly in. If any or all of these describe you, then you've come to the right place. But before I can dive into the mummy tummy method to flatten your midsection and heal your postpartum body, we have to have a bit of a discussion about anatomy. And I want to start that off with a bit of a visual exercise. So imagine that I have handed you a tensor bandage and I've asked you to use that tensor bandage to wrap it around your body in a way that would hold in and flatten your belly. Let's say you're wearing a tight dress out for a dinner with your husband or your wife and you're going to use this to flatten and smooth out your tummy underneath that tight dress. So I imagine that most, if not all of you, would wrap the tensor bandage around yourself this way. So my bandage is a little bit small, but you would keep wrapping it around and around in this direction. So I want you to keep that in mind as we go into our discussion on anatomy. So our skeletal muscle, all the muscles in our limbs and our abdomen work in the same way. When our muscles are relaxed, they're made up of all these filaments and the filaments stay sort of aligned with each other when they're relaxed. When we ask that muscle to contract or shorten, the filaments slide past each other in order to, con to shorten and contract the muscle. So this means that our muscles can only contract in the direction that the filaments are pointing. So there's four main muscles in our abdomen. The first one, the most superficial one, is our rectus abdominis. That is the six pack muscle. That's the pretty looking muscle that all of the uh, Facebook and Instagram fitness models are showing off. And the fibers in that muscle run vertically. So this is my beautiful uh, diagram of a human. So in our rectus abdominis, the fibers run this direction. So you can imagine in order for these muscles to shorten and contract doing an abdominal exercise, you would have to either have your upper body move down or your lower body move up. So anything like a crunch or a leg raise would accomplish that and is working your rectus abdominis. Then deep to that, we have two muscle groups, our external obliques, which run this way, and our internal obliques, which run that way. Both muscle groups run diagonally across the body and are responsible for any sort of twisting motion. So a bicycle crunch, a Russian twist, anything like that is gonna shorten these muscles that run diagonally across our body. So the fourth muscle is our deepest innermost core muscle and it's called the transverse abdominis. The fibers of that muscle run horizontally that way. So can you think of any ab exercise that you would do at the gym that would cause a shortening of the muscles in that direction. The chances are you can't. And that's because traditional core exercises don't work our transverse abdominis. They work our rectus abdominis and our obliques, but that innermost muscle that wraps all the way from our back, all the way around our core, from our rib cage to our pelvis, does not get used during traditional core exercises. Now, sometimes if you've gone to a group fitness class, you might have your instructor say something like, think about pulling your belly button into your spine or hold your abs in tight. What that person is doing is asking you to activate or brace your transverse abdominis in order to give stability to your core and your back. But aside from that, you're probably not using that muscle very much in any of your core exercises. And when we don't work our muscles, they tend to stay in their relaxed or elongated state. So think about somebody who sits at their computer all day. They tend to have bad posture. They're hunched over like this while they're typing. So if we want to tell that person to fix their posture, they work the muscles of their upper back 
and they correct their posture, those muscles tighten, and they're able to pull the shoulders up and back. Now, they don't have to consciously think about this posture all the time. It just happens as they work their muscles. And that's because by working the muscles, you increase the resting tone of the muscle. That's how much tension is in that muscle when it's not being used, when it's at rest. So when you work that muscle, you correct your posture, you're not thinking all the time about pulling your shoulders back. It just happens because the muscles in your upper back are taut even when they're at rest. So the same thing happens with our transverse abdominis. When that muscle is not worked, the fibers are, stay in their elongated state and you have a tummy pooch. So this is especially important after you've had a baby because that muscle is already stretched out in order to accommodate the fetus in your abdomen. It happens to everybody, it can't be helped. But then if you don't actively work that muscle to bring it back down, it's going to continue to stay in that elongated state and give you that mummy tummy or that tummy pooch. So this is especially vitally important for anyone that has a diastasis recti or a separation of their abdominals. These muscles that have separated cannot come back together if they have this constant outward pressure from your loose transverse abdominus and all the organs that are behind it constantly pushing out against them as they're trying to come back together. This is also why we tend to show earlier in subsequent pregnancies because if you haven't actively worked that muscle to tone it back down, it's already loose and hanging there. So when you get pregnant again, it's not holding the baby in. So you show earlier. It's the same reason why we see these fitness models online who are you know, supposedly eight months pregnant and you can barely even see um, any sort of a baby belly on them, but then a month later they pop out a nine pound baby because that transverse abdominis, that muscle has been worked and is active and is very, very strong prior to pregnancy and it holds everything in nice and tight. So it is just so important to make sure that especially after we have a baby, we are working that muscle in the right ways in order to get it back down. So how do we do that, right? That's the big question here. Most of these exercises we talk about aren't working that muscle. We already know traditional core muscle core training is not working. So the answer is an exercise called the stomach vacuum, also called a hypopressive exercise. This is actually a breathing exercise that we do that causes an involuntary contraction of our transverse abdominis and also a lifting of our pelvic floor. We all know how important the pelvic floor is after having a baby. So the aim is to hold this contraction for a period of time in order to increase the resting tone and the strength of that transverse abdominis. But because it also causes that lift of your pelvic floor, it is so helpful for fixing any urinary incontinence or a pelvic organ prolapse that you have um, after you've had your baby because those conditions are usually due to a weakened pelvic floor. So I'm gonna do a bit of a demonstration on how these exercises go. Uh, I can't speak while I'm doing them because they do involve a period of breath holding, about five seconds. So I'm gonna explain it to you now and then I'll show it to you. So what we do is we exhale all the air out of our lungs until our lungs are completely empty. And then without taking a breath, pull your abdomen in and up under your rib cage. So depending on how much abdominal fat you have, you might see your rib cage protruding quite a bit when you do this, um, which can be a little bit freaky at the beginning. So I'm gonna lift up my shirt so you can see this. So I apologize in advance for my midsection, but here we go. So I'm gonna exhale all the air to my lungs with empty lungs, pull my abdomen in and up. So when we do that, it's our transverse abdominus that is causing that hollowing out of our abdomen. So we're really working that muscle when we do these types of exercises. So the problem is that in a lot of countries, we don't have access to this type of training. 
Um, in a lot of European countries, it is often prescribed as just general care to all pro postpartum women. And there are in other countries some practitioners out there, but for a lot of us in a lot of countries, this is not something that we're taught. It's not something that's kind of public knowledge. I know for me, it took a long time of researching on my own online to find this type of, of exercise. And then I had to drive an hour and a half each way and pay a small fortune in order to get access to the small group training in order to learn this technique. So a lot of people have turned to online videos. The problem is they're often not on in English. And if they are, they don't progress you kind of from a beginner to a more advanced. They might just show you what I showed you right now and not show you different postures that you can do it in. And even if they do go so far as to teach you a full class, that the typical hypopressive classes that are meant to be taught in person have a lot of fairly complicated postural cueing that you need to do. Um, you know, your entire body is active, your arms are active, your legs are active, your, like, your entire body is involved. It's really a full body exercise, which makes it really difficult and overwhelming to learn in an online format. Um, but the problem is if we don't do it online, it's not accessible to the vast majority of the public. And this is why I created the mommy tummy method. I use a series of postures that progress you from beginner postures to more advanced postures using postural cues that are easy to learn online, at home, on your own, using the follow along videos that you get with the program. These videos are 10 to 13 minutes each meant to be done up to six times a week. Um, but really, even if you can just do it twice a week, that is the bare minimum that you need to be doing it in order to see some drastic benefits. Um, the method does not involve any crazy diets or insane workout pro pro programs. This is literally something that you can do in your pajamas. You can roll out of bed, spend 10 minutes on your mat in the morning and be well on your way to healing your postpartum body and flattening that tummy. I spent years in pain and discomfort after the births of my two kids. I had severe debilitating back pain after my daughter was born. And then a year and a half later when my son was born, I had a second degree prolapse of my uterus and bladder. I literally spent years going to my physiotherapist and the exercises that were prescribed were helpful, but they, I never really felt like they were fixing the problem. I never got back to, to running and doing kind of all the other activities that I wanted to do. And it wasn't until I found these stomach vacuum exercises on my own that I truly started to heal my body. I could have saved myself years of pain and discomfort had I known about this type of training from the beginning. And that's why I created the mummy tummy method and I want to get it out there to as many women as I possibly can. So if any of this speaks to you in your situation, please click on the link to access the mummy tummy method and start healing your postpartum body today.